Good morning guys, Johnny Liotis here, Power Up 365. You know, it's about 9 o'clock now and um, I'm getting out the gym, having a juice, and it's Monday. So, the big question is then, why am I not at work? You know, a lot of people, I had some people who were phoning me and they're saying to me, so, I mean, how does that work? You're not at work, it's Monday morning. Um, how, oh, what's going to happen? I mean, you've got companies to run, you've got clients to see, you've got bills to pay, money to collect. And, you know, when I recently, I'm sure you guys all know that I climbed Kilimanjaro, and when I'm busy climbing there, I, I had like every day five, seven hours just just looking and, and um, thinking on where am I going and what's next and I believe the process of building a great business is the most important um, people say the journey of achieving a goal is the most important and a lot of times in business we tend to be rushing goals and the biggest thing we have found in business is where entrepreneurs don't take a break just to process because you're not going to build a business in six months that is um, very unlikely you're not going to be successful within six months in business that's very unlikely but what is likely is that you're going to have challenges and the challenges in business um, happen all the time that's what business it, that's why business is so exciting that's the sport of business so as most people would think today I'm not working and I'm taking it easy and my business will fail and all that stuff that's all bullshit because in the last two three hours I've worked more on my business than in my business and if you start learning to work more on your business and in your business as an entrepreneur, as the leader of the business, your business has a better chance. Have you ever, have you ever gone to work and you ask yourself, what did I do in the last five hours? I've been working all day, but what did I really get done? And as much as you've got to serve your clients, you've got to be there for your clients. And if you run a good business, that will happen because you have a great team that's looking after your clients. You have a great team that's taking care of business, okay? But what happens if there are things that are not going right in your business? What happens if your collections are not happening? What happens if people are on 90 days, 120 days, and you keep working on your business, and you're going, and you, you're making the next invoice, and you're carrying on, but you don't realize there's, there's smoke in your business. There's smoke, there's problems in your business that you are not realizing. And you, you're most probably never going to see them until it's too late. And then you're going to complain, why has this happened to me? Why did this happen to my business? And the, the challenge with that is, it's all your fault. It's all your fault because you said, I have to be at work at 8 o'clock. I have to be... At work at nine o'clock as a business owner I have to I have to who said you have to who said you have to who made your schedule because you used to work as an employee or someone at a, at a previous business and then you decided to open your own business and you believe that you need to carry on working that way but you don't understand you had the employee cap on you had the employee cap on and now you have the business owner cap on. You have much more responsibility as the business owner. Let me just wait for this truck to go by. And as a business owner, you've got to take care of, you've got to make sure that all the things within your business are running smoothly. You've got to make sure that your most important asset in your business are your people. Are you looking after your people? Are they in a good space? Are you having meetings? Are you connecting with them on a regular basis? Or are your clients happy? Do you pick up the phone and, you know, while you're at gym, you just pick up a client, pick up a phone and phone a client and say, how are you doing? Things going well with you? 
But if you're in the business all the time, you, t you tend to not do that. It's one meeting after the other, one meeting after the other. And I call it the helicopter view. You don't look at the helicopter view of your business to see where it's going. And right now, um, I, I was thinking, you know, what uh, my accounting firm is my accounting firm going well are, are we are we serving our clients are we are we getting to their financial statements on time and, and I would I would contact the manager and I'd WhatsApp him and say have we looked at this I'd contact the accounts department I say you know what have these accounts been paid have we contacted these clients um, this morning I was driving so much with this stuff working on the business and it came to my attention that certain clients were not getting charged interest. That is 100,000 Rand. It's a, it's a, it was a system issue that because we upgraded our system and something, it was not automated in the business. And because I took the time, now I took the time to work uh, three hours I'm sitting at the gym I'm exercising I'm, I'm listening to my mentors and coaches and I'm coming up with ideas and I'm just being quiet with myself and I came up with an idea and I contact our accounts department have we done that then someone picked it up someone picks it up and phones me and says you know what the interest is not going off the client and they are upset with me and why are we not doing this and that I say well I started stirring up and contact, have we done this with this client? Why isn't this client paid? Why is this amount so much? And that was picked up. So in three hours, made a hundred thousand rand because I was working on my business. We found, um, sometimes I think of something, I made a commitment to somewhere, I didn't keep my commitments, therefore I need to correct that. I need to phone that client and say, I apologize, I did not keep to that commitment. Um, we will correct it because the worst thing you can do with a client is not go back to them. Most people, most people are, are, are misunderstood in business. They think that um, if you can't get if you can't get a job done by a client, that means you must just keep quiet. That's the worst thing you can do. Speak to your clients. I always tell my clients, I don't work for you. I work with you in order to build your great business. And um, if I drop the ball, I must phone, I must correct that. I need to contact that client and say, listen, man, I apologize. I made that commitment to you and I did not keep to my commitment. Um, I will correct that as soon as possible. So I'm stepping up in my issues, in my challenges that I have. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, if you have a business, you're definitely going to have challenges in your business. So most people would think, most people are wired that way, that... You take off three hours to work on your business and now you're not working and you feel guilty. You feel guilty because you're not doing all that other shit. You're not, you're not invoicing, you're not seeing a client, you're not processing or you're not doing something. But I'm telling you, as an entrepreneur, as the business owner, as the leader, you've got to take the time to serve your employees, to lead them, to influence them, to get them to a higher standard so that your business can do better and the only way that is is if you invest in yourself I mean you need to grow that means you need to look at your business I mean one of my other businesses um, IE Capital that we we've just finished a 60 million rand project and now we're looking and it was very tough it was very tough um, not getting paid on time and that and we're looking what's next well what's next should we should we carry on with this should we not carry on with this and um, you know I'm a, I love what Warren Buffett says, you've got to be a value investor and you've got to look at the long term in business. Would I have known that if I didn't study Warren Buffett? If I didn't know what to do next, do I, do I take the money out or do I look for the next project? But in studying Warren Buffett, because I said success leaves clues, so let's look at the best investor in the world and let's see what he says. So I study him and, he, and today I heard that again, I said, no, no, I know what to do. I know what to do. I need to go and, and look and collect that investment, raise that, get more investors in and be a value investor that people are proud that we invested in their companies. Now that mindset, that change happened because I spent time working on the business, not in the business. So I know um, it would look like I'm just taking things easy, but let me tell you, I believe I made more money in the last two hours working on my business by f finding issues in the business, solving them, 
deciding what's next in my business that I wouldn't have done if I'd been at the work at 8 o'clock and just carried on and got into the motions. Now, we have people that work as managers and we have employees that must do that because otherwise the business will suffer. So that's why I believe your people are, they are in the moment, they are in the now. But if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, you got to keep on asking you, what's next? What's the next marketing plan? What's the, what, where am I going to sell this week? And um, how am I going to serve my clients better? You've got to be innovating and you've got to be seeing where, where, where am I going next? So guys, with that, um, I just wanted to share this with you and uh, it's another power of 365 I've I've been uh, since I came back from Kilimanjaro I haven't been putting so many up um, just taking the time to process with myself and that but that will that will all change now we're gonna power up we're gonna go and build great businesses and empower your people so that's what I do I love doing that so have a great day enjoy it this is Johnny Liardis and our job is to build great businesses by empowering people have a great one enjoy it cheers